فاعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ويساعدكم على هذا ويجعلكم على مثل الشمس ان ترجعوا لسهل السلف الصالح. And matters of creed, deviations and matters of creed and methodology. He says, وَقَالَ رَحِمُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ أَيْضًا Likewise, in a sawaiq al-mursala, Ibn Qayyim رَحِمُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ Likewise, says in this statement, by itself is enough to go home on. It's a very powerful and strong statement. And if you have the PDF of the book that we posted in the WhatsApp group, we encourage you, if you can read the Arabic, to go back to this statement, to read it and to ponder over it and reflect over it. And there are similar statements to this in uh, some of the writings of Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Taymi rahimahullah ta'ala in explaining the causes of the spread of Islam and what makes the Muslims exceptional and mutafawwiqoon uh, and the people who are above and beyond the pale in comparison to the rest of the umam and in comparison to the rest of the nations ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he says inna a'aqal al-khalqi ala al-itlaq al-rusul the most intelligent of people absolutely are the messengers. The most intelligent of people absolutely were the messengers of Allah. Alayhim as-salatu was salam. Wa atzba'uhum ba'duhum a'aqalul umam. And their followers after them were the most intelligent of all nations. Their followers after them were the most intelligent of all nations. Wa ahlul kitabi wa shara'i. And the people who had the greatest books revealed and the greatest revelation sent down to the greatest of the prophets, they were the most intelligent amongst all of the followers of the messengers. They were the most intelligent amongst all of the followers of the messengers. And the most intelligent of the followers of the messengers from amongst all of Ahlul Kutub wa Shara'i al Kibar, those who adhere to the teachings of the Prophets and the Messengers from amongst the actual followers, and not just those who claim to follow the Messengers. The actual followers of the Messengers are the Muslims. The Muslims, they are the most intelligent of all of the followers of the Prophets and the Messengers. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And the most intelligent of them were the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This comes in a statement of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud Radiyallahu Anhu He said Ulaika Ashabu Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Abarra wa abarru hadihi al-ummati quluban wa amakuha ilman wa aqalluha takallufan That you have the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam They were the most righteous of this nation in heart they were the greatest of them in knowledge and they were the least pretentious from the people, meaning they had the most simple approach to understanding and learning and teaching the religion and practicing and implementing the religion. They were the greatest of them in knowledge and intellect and the best of them in righteousness and character and the most simple of them and practical of them in their approach to understanding and teaching the religion of Allah and conveying the message of Islam to the nations. وَأَعْقَلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ أَصْحَابُ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم The most intelligent of the Muslims were the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم وَالتَّابِعُونَ لَهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And those who followed them in goodness The تَابِعُونَ لَهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And the تَابِعُونَ who followed them in goodness وَأَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْحَدِيثِ أَعْقَلُ الْأُمَّةِ بَعْدُهُمْ عَلَى الْإِطْلَاقِ And the people of Sunnah and Hadith are the most intelligent of this ummah after them? Absolutely. And the people of Sunnah and Hadith, they are the most intelligent of people. They are the strongest of them in mind and intellect? Absolutely. And the clear, irrefutable proof for that is as follows. And know who? Without a doubt, surely, certainly, قَدْ ذَهَرَ عَلَىٰ عَيْدِ الرُّسُلِ مِنَ الْعِلْمَ النَّافِعِ وَالْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحِ وَمَصَالِحِ الدُّنِيَ وَالْآخِرَةِ مَا لَمْ يَظْهَرْ مِثْلُهُ وَلَا قَرِيبٌ مِنْهُ وَلَا مَلَهُ الْبَتَّةِ نِسْبَةٌ بِوَجْهٍ مِنَ الْوُجُوحِ 
ala aidi ghairihi min al-uqala is that they occurred at the hands of the messengers and appeared at the hands of the messengers of beneficial knowledge and righteous deeds and masalih ad-dunya wal akhirah and that which is of an advantage and a greater good for people in the affairs of their worldly life and in the affairs connected to their hereafter that which is above and beyond what occurred at the hand of any other nations at the hands of any other nations that what occurred of beneficial knowledge what appeared of beneficial knowledge and righteous actions and the thamarat of that the fruits of that that were yielded by that of the good in this world and the next at the hands of the messengers and their followers is above and beyond he said to the point ma lahu ma la lahu nisbatun bi wajhi min al wujuh and he above and beyond to the point that there is no comparison that could be made to what has emanated of beneficial knowledge and righteous actions and the fruits of that and the benefits of that at the hands of any other nation and this is something that is of the utmost importance to understand in the time in which we live where people are confused by at-taghrib al hadatha by modernity and modernism and so on and so forth thinking that what these people have of limited scientific knowledge and medical so-called expertise and a claim to have reached the pinnacle of knowledge in every regard in connection to the sciences and so on and so forth and political and business acumen and these sorts of things that it is above and beyond what anybody ever had before and this is without a doubt ayn al-batil this is without a doubt proven by history and proven by their own historians and their social critics who have written extensively how what they have been upon for the last three to four hundred years has brought nothing but, or has brought a great deal of wailun and thubur, a great deal of woe and misery and destruction to the planet in which we live. He says, Rahimullah ta'ala, وَمَنْ تَدَبَّرَ سِيرَتُهُمْ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ And whoever contemplates over their seerah, over the lives and the stories, and the biographies of the prophets and the messengers, and the righteous from their nations, and the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu and the Salaf al-Saliheen, and the righteous Salaf, fi anfusihim, how they were on a personal level with their own self in private, how they were, how they behaved themselves and conducted themselves, wa fi khasatihim, and how they were on an elite level, meaning how the scholars and the most righteous from amongst them, and the leaders from amongst them, how they were in comparison to the leaders of the rest of the nations and those who have prestige and leadership and are viewed to be the best of the rest of the nations. As was stated by a shaabi Rahimullah Ta'ala, he said, Khiyaru, he said, Shiraru kulli ummatin ulama'uha illa al-Muslimun fa ulama'uha khiyaruha. He said that the worst and most evil of every nation are its ulama, except for the Muslims. The worst and most evil of every nation are its ulama, its learned people. Whether what we are talking about as it relates to knowledge is the knowledge of how to rule over their peoples, and either the people of al daha wal makr al siyas al shaytaniyah as the Shaykh Mukbar Rahimullah Ta'ala used to call it, and he the politics of Shaytan, of al makr and Khadi'ah, and so on and so forth, or whether what we are talking about is secular knowledge, because the siyarat, the phraseology and the twist of terminology that is used in the secular sciences, ranging from physics to science to psychology to the so called social sciences to the end of it, is built upon pure ilhad pure atheism in the times in which we live and before the times in which we live or whether what we are talking about is their religious knowledge and there is no doubt that their religion is kufr and shirk billah 
أن الالحاد في آيات الله وفي الله وأسمائه وصفاته that they were mulhidun as relates to the ayat of Allah, the religion of Allah, and his names and his attributes, subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no doubt that the worst of every nation were its ulama. Were its ulama except for the Muslims. فَعُلَمَاءُهَا خِيَارُهَا Its ulama are the best amongst them. Its ulama are the best amongst them. Who said that? al Sha'abi. That statement is mentioned by Shaykh al-Islam. Ibn Taymi rahimahullah ta'ala in Kitab al-Iman al-Awsat. Kitab al-Iman. It's a statement of a Sha'abi rahimahullah ta'ala. He says rahimahullah ta'ala, Ibn Qayyim, he says, whoever was to contemplate over their seerah, their stories and their lives and their legacy, meaning the prophets and the messengers and their followers, the companions, and the son of Salihin, fi anfusihim, on a personal level, wa fi khasatihim, and as relates to the elite from amongst them, meaning the scholars and the rulers, wa fi al-amma, and as relates to the amma, as relates to the masses of the people, the communities, the cities, and the towns and the provinces of the Muslims, and how they were, and how the average Muslim was in the early days of Islam, in comparison to how the followers of the prophets and the messengers outside of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were. Whoever was to contemplate and reflect over that. وَصَبْرَهُمْ And contemplate upon their patience and resolve. وَزُحْدَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا And their disinterest in the dunya. And I say, بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ السَّلَفِ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ الْكُتُبِ كان أحمد يقول أجدع بيننا وبينكم الجنائز